a box. Okay, so today I'll be doing the gourmet kitchen set, showing you guys how it works. And starters, I already put those two pieces in, but they basically just clip in like this sink here, if I can actually get it in. And it just goes in like that. Next, there's a metal thing, I don't really know what to call it, that will hold like spoons and stuff that have openings for hooks. Okay, so we have pepper, salt, and there's stickers, and you can even put some on the board to make it realistic. We have nutmeg, cinnamon, ginger, basil, parsley, garlic, oregano, and rosemary for the spices I chose out. Put these on, I'm gonna try to put these on. And the thing with these is they fall off really easily, but mm, it all works out because it looks super pretty and super nice. And on here, we'll put the spatula here. Actually, we'll put it here. And on the other hook, we'll put the whisk. Then the wooden spoon here. Then the pan. Let's change it so that the orange colors are together, the whisk and the wooden spoon, which is actually plastic, and the two pink handled ones. The bigger measuring cups towards us, the smaller ones away, and the measuring spoons, making sure they can all fit inside of each other. And everything in this collection is like super proportional to the dolls, as I'll show you quickly here. Like, almost as if you just bought them at the store. And one of my favorite parts, the mixer, it lifts up like a regular mixer. And excuse the foot, you can take the pieces out, so the bowl and the attachment. We'll go with this silver one for now. You can pop them in really easily and put the bowl under it, slide it back down, and there's no on button at the bottom, as I was figuring out, but just that button at the front. And it actually spins like a real one, of course, not as fast, so not dangerous. But it stops right when your mixing is ready to go. Okay, so this drawer, we'll put silverware in. Then this, right now, we'll stick the trash can in. And they can access it whenever they want to. Just pull it out really easy and push back in. So, the silverware. Really cute, feels like metal, but like, feels like has the coolness of metal, but still like not heavy and stuff, but it could be metal. Um, and then fork, two forks, two spoons, and one butter knife. So all my dolls can't eat at the same time, but that's fine. Okay, we'll move this over a little. And here, we shall put the dishes here that are clean. We have these two bowls, an amazing shade of pink, almost like a dark, beautiful pink with a star on the bottom, and they stack nicely. Then the plates with all the colors, it only came with two, but all the colors go with something, like the green and the spices and all those colors. And I really wish there had been more, but I'm still in love with the two I got. These cups, looks like you can just put a milkshake in them and it'll be perfect. Has a nice bottom, not actual glass, but plastic, it looks like glass. And they all fit nicely in this top shelf here. And next, the fridge, one of my favorite parts. Thought this came out, but apparently it doesn't, but you know, can't get everything. And then we have these berries in a basket. Looks like you just picked them. There are even some that are slit open so that it's so realistic like you just picked them. Same with the blueberries and some are purple. So cute! Then the milk with a sticker that I didn't have to put on luckily because I'm bad at that. And a handle and again, just perfect. Now we have the fresh eggs. I'm trying to open them one-handed, and I use my mouth. And there's half a dozen eggs in there. They're super duper cute, and closes up nicely. And there's also this butter. It has a little lid that is removable. 
looks just like butter and has that design on it. If we pull out the butter knife here, it looks like we can just cut it just like that. Works perfectly! If we open the fridge, we can put the berries on the bottom right here. They look cute there. And then the eggs there, and the milk next to it, and the butter in front of it so we can see everything. And then the pantry. It's super duper cute. It feels sturdy. And this is like wood on the countertop. Maybe even actual wood. And my doll's there in the back. Apple cinnamon stars that I drop. Brilliant. And we have some baking oats. We'll put those in. Then brown sugar. Um, and baking soda, but they don't quite fit there, so we put those on a different shelf. So we can fit the pet food, and it's really cute and will be great for feeding all our pets with. <laughs> Accidentally turning them around. Then we'll put flour on the bottom with some vegetable oil, which will definitely aid us in cooking and baking. And sugar there, brown sugar next to it, and then the baking soda. And we'll actually turn these around so that everything can be seen. Yeah, there we go. We'll put that on the bottom and close it up. Then the marker goes on the side for when you need to write notes. And these are the little recipes that came in the recipe box. And they're actual recipes in English. And they are super duper cute and there's quite a few of them and these recipes can be passed down to like generations and put them in the recipe box and it closes right up but we'll leave it open and next the pet food now this bell can wrap but it's so adorable so they can ring for service if they need to and See, they have the magnet, so it actually connects like that. It's for the toys, as I showed you with that ballerina from this set that I have. But I actually find it quite entertaining, so you might too. Then the food and the water are removable, so that your pet can actually finish what's in them. They can ring their bell, the bell with the paws if they want to. It slides right back in, has a little handle to be pulled out. Perfect and adorable just like most things in the set. Next, we have this mixing bowl that you can mix your mixes in, and a rolling pin. And it doesn't actually roll like a real one, but if we take the dough out, we can kind of slide it along. So, but the dough is super realistic, has the cracked sides and a smooth bottom, and it has powdered sugar, or flour, not powdered sugar, gosh, and a loaf of bread in a red tin. There's two removable slices and one crust, and they all fit nicely in the pan for when it's baking. So we can actually use the two removable pieces to put in the toaster. They fit, and you can push this lever down and push the button, and they'll pop out, and you can do it fast enough so it flies out. Yay! Next, the brownies in this brownie pan. They're actually like thick and proportional, but the pan looks really thin. But they have powdered sugar and they look good enough to eat. Like, literally, none of my brownies look this good. Even store-bought ones. And this pan, it's just a little thinner than the, brown the brownie pan sides. And these cookies aren't as realistic as the brownies, but they fit nicely on the pan and are still super cute as well as proportional, just like everything in this set. So, we'll try to put the bowl here, the logo facing outwards, and the dough next to it, because what do you do with pre-made food? And then the rolling pin, if we can get it to balance, or we can try. And the toaster, it's right in, and the bread pan actually sticks out of it, which is kind of annoying, but, It'll be spending most of its time on the counter in the oven, so it's fine. 
and we'll try and put the cookies in on this bottom shelf and it doesn't fit that way or that way hmm but if we put it in this way it's actually deep enough to slide the full pan in so we can put that there and it doesn't stick out and put the brownies right on top of it and then this hot pad it actually opens the dolls can stick their hands in and it, we can hang that above the pet food area and this apron that will velcro up to hang and so you can actually get it velcro then there we go and it can hang on the back right there then this chair ag overseas fan was purple and she didn't like how it stuck out but mine's blue maybe customers complained and they changed it or if it's just random what color chair you get. It's really sturdy, nice metal, will hold the weight of the dolls without tipping over, has no chance of tipping over pretty much. And this is the Gourmet Kitchen Set. Overall, I would totally recommend it. It's like the best use of money in the American Girl. You get so many pieces for money that normally doesn't get you that much. $225 and...